Okay, so we just removed that uh, page break symbol. Um, and it didn't really look like it did anything. Um, I'm going to make another example with that in a second. But we still have an issue. Uh, this stuff is on the second page. And we don't want it on the second page. If you remember, we started off with just one page. Okay, so uh, we have these blank lines here. We need to get rid of these blank lines. So I'm going to remove that blank line. Let me go ahead and click right in front of this paragraph mark. I'm going to press the delete key. Okay, and I'm going to press the delete key again. Okay, so by removing those two blank lines, it brought up these two lines of words. Okay. And also, uh, we have some more blank lines down here. Now, like I said, remember we had one page. A lot of people ask this question too. Let me hit Control Shift Eight. A lot of people say, "Mr. Franklin, uh, I just wrote one page, and look, see, it's on one page." But in Microsoft Word, if we look, we're looking at Microsoft Word, and there's now a second page. How do I get rid of that page? How do I get rid of this page, Mr. Franklin? Well, the way that you get rid of the page is by turning on your non-printing characters. I'm going to toggle that on, Control-Shift-8, and deleting the non-printing characters on that page. Okay, because even though to you it's blankness, but to the computer, these represent something. Who knows? Maybe you did want five extra lines of, uh, of blank lines. May, the computer doesn't know your brain. Maybe for some reason you do want to add a second blank page. When I'm creating ebooks or when I'm creating uh, articles or blogs, a lot of times I just have a blank page. All right. The blank page could be a divider between content. The blank page could be a place where people can write notes. The blank page can be a page for scrap. So there's a number of reasons why I personally include a blank page in my ebooks or in my uh, lab workbooks or worksheets. All right. But in this case, we don't want the blank page. OK, so I'm going to place my cursor in front of let's start from the top. I'm going to place my cursor in front of this uh, non printing character here, this paragraph mark, and I'm just going to press the delete key. And that removes that one. I'm going to press the delete key again. I'm going to press it one more time. And as I'm pressing it, I'm just removing them and I'm removing them. And now that should have removed all of them from that page. And if I zoom out, we don't have another page. And here we're back at just one page here all right so definitely you want to remember that how do you get rid of a blank page just like that uh, is the way that you get rid of it is you want to use your non printing characters so let's take a look at that again a lot of times people don't realize that they're pressing the enter key a lot when they're typing okay so let's just say I want a blank page OK, now there's a couple of ways that I can get an extra blank page. But one of those ways is simply by pressing the enter key. OK, so if I want a blank page at the end of my document, then I need to go to the, the last paragraph mark and press the enter key until I get that blank page. OK, another way to get a blank page is by inserting a non printing character called page break. All right. If I press control enter, that's going to give me a blank page. Uh, but if you look, it actually gave me more than a blank page. It actually gave me two blank pages by accident. That's not the typical. That doesn't happen typically. It's just it'll just forward me to the next page, making the next next page blank. All right. So but let me hit control Z. Let me get rid of that. Uh, so that's what it is. So. If you want a blank page, you want to press enter to go to the next page. But if you don't want that blank page, then you need to delete all of the non printing characters on that blank page in order to remove it. So I'm going to delete all of these non printing characters on that page to remove that blank page. Please don't forget that. 
okay uh, let's come up here so here this is a good example if I click here and I put um, let's just say I put a page break there I'm gonna hit control enter all right now if I come up let me zoom out a little bit so you can see it and let me t toggle let me toggle off my non printing characters okay so now let me zoom out some more okay so now we have two official pages um, I put the page break right here now the page break will bring everything beneath it to the next page okay just like it did there um, but we do have this white space here okay it created that white space for us so we have the page break which created the white space now let me just toggle on my non printing characters control shift 8 and you can see the page break right here nothing can be placed after the page break anything placed after the page break is going to go on the next line okay the only thing that's going to be placed after the page break is this paragraph mark and you already know nothing goes after this paragraph mark in this area so these the combination of these two together is the end all be all for that page can't do nothing else on this page okay now if we want we can insert some shapes down here but raw text we cannot insert we cannot keep typing past this page break as a matter of fact if I keep typing here for example today is another sweet day and I just keep typing and typing then it'll push the page break down uh, but whatever I do I can't type after the page break okay so let me hit control Z let's take that out okay so we have this all on another page but you know what maybe I made a mistake I don't want this white space I don't want the words or the text to go to the next page okay so what we need to do is delete this page break non printing character symbol so I'm gonna click right behind the page break symbol okay and then I'm gonna press the backspace button so the backspace if you remember removes symbols and letters on the left side of the cursor so I'm gonna press backspace that's gonna remove that I also still have some white space here let's just get rid of that by deleting these paragraph marks so I'm gonna press delete because it's gonna remove uh, whatever is on the right side of that cursor so delete button and I'm gonna press the delete button again okay alright so now finally let's go to this one and uh, here we have a soft return so a soft return is a way to break your paragraph into two parts without creating a separate paragraph so here this is considered one paragraph let's take a look at it with the non-printing characters off control shift 8 all right and let me just uh, zoom out a little bit okay now if we look at this it looks a little bit like two paragraphs here all right but the truth of the matter is is actually one paragraph so if we use a paragraph scope any uh, a paragraph scope button anywhere in these two paragraphs it will uh, uh sorry anywhere in these these lines well it looks like two paragraphs but if we use a paragraph scope button in any of these two lines it will affect the entire paragraph okay so this is considered an entire paragraph even though it's kind of separated right here and that's what a soft return does okay uh let let me turn on my non-printed characters control shift and tap eight all right and we see that here and there's a lot of times where you're gonna want to use a soft return all right a lot of times where you're gonna want to kind of break up the sentence but not break up the paragraph you still want the uh, the the later half of these sentences to be connected as one paragraph all right and you can tell this is one paragraph because we see the paragraph mark right here all right paragraph mark is right here the paragraph mark is not right there 
this means that this paragraph is still a part of this sentence uh, uh these two paragraphs these two sentences are still considered one paragraph i hope that made sense all right uh let's th let's get rid of this uh this soft return here all right so i'm going to click um let's click in front of the uh in front of the soft return because nothing can be typed after the soft return that's the whole purpose of it going to the next line all right so let's go ahead and click here and then i'm just going to press the delete button and then that'll bring the paragraphs together uh, so there's a number of reasons why you may need a soft return for example maybe uh when you write a sentence and you want to start maybe like uh let's say you let's say you're writing a sentence and when you get to the end here of the margin the word is so large and complicated you kind of just want to start this word on the next line all right instead of having it on the same line so what you do is you you do a soft return okay shift enter all right so anything that's difficult to read you just bring it to the next line there's a number of reasons why i do it i actually do it i'll say maybe 40 percent of the time 30 to 40 percent of the time i use soft returns um because it makes the e the reading easier sometimes i don't want them to read certain things all the way across sometimes i want to bring it to the next line uh many reasons uh and you know i want to bring it to the next line but i don't want to break up the paragraph all right so that's what it is that's a soft return so everything is still considered one paragraph i just broke up one of the sentences and brought it to the next line all right let me go ahead and delete this soft return all right and there you have it we just learned about uh non-printing characters uh short and sweet not too long just keep in mind uh non-printing characters just to summarize are there to control your white space and to help you control your white space there's a number of ways that we can add and remove and control white space this is the first method that you should go to before you do anything else okay if you see that there's a problem of white space too much spaces or maybe you have a whole blank space of another page you got another page in there and the first thing that you need to do is turn on your turn on your non-printing characters display your non-printing characters and either remove them or add them okay so for example i can add a non-printing character here i might want white space white space is not always bad okay if i want white space then i need to add non-printing characters as i just did there okay and that's perfectly fine a lot of people say well mr franklin can i can i do the enters can i just enter white space like that yeah sure why not all right there's a number of ways that we can you know uh, add white space that's just one way the whole point of all of these tools is the end result and the end result we want beauty and and admiration and 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 uh well not admiration but beauty <laughs> and what's the word? gloriousness all right so you want your uh that's what you want your document to look like and you do want your document to be admired okay so yes you can add white space that way or you can remove it and clean it up that way also